Okay, everybody, this project is pretty easy and the best part, everything you need for this project you can get at the 99 cent store right now. I don't have a lot of Easter decor for my house when spring and Easter time comes around. And so that's something that I kind of wanted to change and add to. And so um, this project is gonna do that. But the best part about this project is it doesn't just have to be Easter. I have fall flowers left from a lot of my projects this past fall and autumn and harvest time. So I'm gonna make one with flowers, not just what I'm doing today. So let me show you what you need. You need a white saucer. You can use a mug for this, but I thought that this pot was super cute for 99 cents and it's spring-like and I think it'll be perfect for this, but you can use a coffee mug if you want. You need some easy to bend forks, and the 99 cent store has a four pack by Pillsbury for 99 cents, so that's what I got, and that's what I'm using today. You're gonna need some Easter eggs, some moss. You're gonna need to plug in your hot glue gun and have plenty of hot glue sticks. You're gonna need your pliers, and that's about it. So let's get started and get this project underway. So I went ahead and I've already bent my fork. We will start off by hot gluing the handle to the inside of your mug or pot. So be generous with your hot glue. Have plenty of hot glue sticks on hand. And go ahead and hot glue that in. Okay, so once your handle is glued to the inside and it's dry, you're gonna go ahead and take the base of your fork and you are gonna hot glue it to the plate. You're not gonna hot glue it in the middle. You wanna hot glue it toward the edge. Now the moss comes in. I chose to get the brown moss because I love the brown Moss, I'm a brown earth tone person anyway. But go ahead and if you have <clears throat> green moss or you just have greenery that you wanna put down here, cause you're not a moss person, the dollar store has this moss right now, which is a fantastic deal for 99 cents. And once I kind of get it where I want it, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it back out and hot glue it into place. We are giving the illusion that this is spilling out of the pot. Isn't that just so stinking cute already? Okay, so because this is a little bit top heavy and it makes the plate kind of tip, I didn't think about that using the pot because the pot is a bit heavier than a mug. I just went in my front yard, I grabbed a rock and I'm gonna hot glue that onto the plate and then there you go, our problem is solved. So now what we're gonna do is use our foam eggs that we bought from the dollar store. This was in my dollar store video haul. The large, the medium, and the small. And they do come on sticks, but we are going to take the sticks off. And we are left with our eggs. And I'm already thinking, I think the big ones are going to be too big. I don't think I'm gonna like them for this project. So I think we are going to stick with the medium and smalls. Alrighty, so I've gotten all my eggs off the sticks and we are just going to start randomly hot gluing them to the moss. a 
add a little bit more moss. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add all those eggs that were on the skewers had bows. And I think instead of wasting the bows, I'm taking them off the skewers and I'm going to add them. Isn't that adorable? I love that. Look how cute that turned out. I think that this would make an adorable centerpiece to your Easter dinner or your Easter breakfast or if you made it in the harvest autumn flowers or poinsettias for Christmas or just, you know, any holiday. It would be just absolutely adorable. Even have pine cones coming out of it. That would be a super cute one too. Like I said though, I did Easter because I found these eggs. I absolutely thought that they were adorable and I don't have very much Easter decor in my house. So I wanted to add to it. And this was one of the things that I wanted to add along with my Easter candlesticks. You should check those out. I'll leave the link in the description box below how to make the Easter egg candlestick holders that I've made this Easter for my home. Hope you all like this video today. Please give it a thumbs up. So thank you everybody who have subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it. And just stay tuned for more Kelly Barlow crafting on a budget videos to come. And until next time, everybody, happy crafting on a budget and bye for now.